Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to simplify the following algebraic fractions. In the first example, we have x plus 7 divided by x squared minus 49. If I look at my numerator, I don't have any common factors, so I'm going to leave it as, as it is, that's x plus 7. But for my denominator, that looks like that difference of two squares. So if I rewrite that, that's x squared minus 7 squared, because 49 is a perfect square. So factorizing by using the difference of two squares, for my numerator, I still have my x plus 7. And then at the bottom, I have my two brackets, x plus 7, x minus 7. Using the difference of two squares, the state that if I have a squared, minus b squared it's a plus b a minus b when i factorize if you look at my new fraction i have x plus 7 dividing x plus 7 so my final answer will be 1 over x minus 7. and the second example i have x squared plus 7x plus 12 divided by 5x plus 20. For my numerator, that's trinomial. And if I factorize my trinomial, what I will have is x plus 3 multiplying x plus 4. If you want to learn how to factorize trinomial, look at the comment section for a video on that. If I look at the denominator, I have a common factor of 5. So if I factor out 5, I'm left with, in a bracket, x plus 4. I have the term x plus 4, dividing x plus 4. So my final answer would be, for my numerator, x plus 3, divided by 5. Let's look at the third example. For my numerator, I have my third example, x squared minus x minus 6 divided by x squared plus x minus 12. I have a trinomial at the top and at the bottom. If I start by factorizing my numerator, that will be x minus 3, x plus 2, divided by, I'm going to factorize the denominator also. I have that as x plus 4, x minus 3. The next step is to look for common terms or factors at the top and at the bottom. And in this case, that's x minus 3. So therefore, my final answer will be for my numerator, x plus 2 divided by x plus 4. For the next example, I have 2x squared minus 12x minus 32 divided by 64 minus x squared. If you look at my numerator, I will start with the common factor of 2. Using the common factor helps in reducing my trinomial, then it makes it easier for me to factorize. So taking out the common factor, I have 2, which is common, and then I'm left with x squared minus 12 divided by 2, that's 6x, 32 divided by 2, that's 16, divided by, for my denominator, that looks like difference of two squares, so I'm going to change that to perfect squares, 64, that's 8 squared minus x squared. The next step is to factorize further, so I have 2 multiplying, to factorize the trinomial x squared minus 6x minus 16 or the quadratic equation, that will be x minus 8 multiplying x plus 2 divided by applying the difference of two squares. Open my two bracket, that's 8 plus x, 8 minus x. I'm going to adjust that. 8 minus x. Now, if you look at the two terms that I'm going to highlight, that's x minus 8 and 8 minus x, they have the same terms, but the signs are different. 
So to make the sign different, the same, I'm going to factor out negative 1 for my numerator. So if I factor out negative 1, then I have negative 2 because negative 1 times 2 is going to give me negative 2. The eight, x minus 8 now becomes 8 minus x. Then I have x plus 2. I'm going to show you shortly what I did. I have 8 plus x, 8 minus x for my denominator. So what I did was 2. I had x minus 8. If I factor out negative 1, then I'm going to have 8 minus x. Because if I fall or I expand and simplify, I'm going to get my x minus 8. So therefore, I have the common factors x minus or 8 minus x at the top. So what that means is my final answer will be negative 2 bracket x plus 2 divided by 8 plus x. And to the final example, I have x to the power of 5 minus x to the power of 4 divided by x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 3. That's equal to all my terms are in x, so I'm going to factor out what is common. Starting with, I'm going to start with the term with the lowest exponent, in this case, that is x to the power of 3. So if I factor out x to the power of 3 at the top, I'm left with x squared minus x. And then at the bottom, I have x to the power of 3. I'm taking out the same factor. I'm left with x1 minus 1. Then I have x to the power of 3, dividing each other. But if you look at what I have as my numerator, I can still factor out x. So if I factor out x at the top, I'm left with x minus 1 in bracket divided by x minus 1. x minus 1 divided by x minus 1, the factors cancel out. So therefore, my final answer will be x. Thanks for watching. Bye.